it's Kerry from Drunk on Wonderlust. Now I've just arrived back in the UK from sunny Sicily and you know what? It's cold. I had a most amazing time and I can't wait to share with you guys my adventure exploring Mount Etna. But just before I do that, I'm going to have a little mini celebration. Woohoo! Because I've just hit 2,000 subs, which is great. And in honour of that, I'm going to do my very first subscriber shit giveaway okay I'll explain it all at the end all you need to do in the meantime is look out and count including this one as many of these little volcanoes as you can throughout the video and I'll explain it all at the end let's get to it I woke up bright and early to a text saying it wasn't thunder I could hear last night it was volcanic activity from the top of Mount Etna so unfortunately we wouldn't be able to climb to the summit but don't worry there's still a tour we can do this is Francesco, our tour guide, and he's saying instead of taking us to the summit, he's going to take us to the site of the most recent volcanic eruption of Mount Etna. But when did that take place? Oh, five months before, April 2020. This is the lava from the top. It's very light, like sponge. And you can see 50% the lava and only 50% the gas because from the main crater normally we have only explosion with the gas and lava. This is the lava not from the top but from a small crater at 2200 meters. And we have 90% the lava and only 10% the gas because at 2000, 2200 meters normally we have only eruption, no explosion. We started our climb up to the southeastern craters, the site of the most recent eruption. The lava of 2020. 2020. Do if you want to take a stone, <laughs> three, to blend it. It was actually really interesting. I didn't realize that each time the volcano erupted, the lava was made up of different materials. Laura, we are in the east side of Etna. In this place, in front, we have the seven craters. Number one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. The name of these craters, Bottoniera. Bottoniera goes like buttons. We have the seven craters on the same line. Statistically, every five, six months, we have a big explosion from the top with the atomic mushroom at seven, eight kilometers at high, and we expected this explosion now. I'm sorry, what? And we expected this explosion now. <laughs> now we expected the, the next eruption, not from the, the small crater, from the same craters, but we expected the next eruption inside of this valley. So the next eruption is due any day now in the exact place that we're walking. Fabulous! Francesco did put our minds at ease. He said, don't worry, if there's going to be an eruption, we'll have an earthquake first. So it'll give us a bit of warning. We are, we are on the crater number seven. The, the, the crater number seven is open. And from here, you can see the normal size of one crater in this volcano Etna. Only two meters and 50 centimeters wide. Total 12 meters deep. The lava liquid with the gas comes out from here, arrive inside of each crater, and from here, when we have eruption, you can see the lava liquid. So we're stood by an active crater of a volcano that's due to explode any minute now. It's just a waiting game. And what's Francesco's great idea? Why don't you sit next to the crater and pose for a photo? Great! <laughs> couldn't deny it, the views were just stunning and it was actually really fascinating hearing all the information about Mount Etna, stuff I never would have known before. Next we visited the place where the old tourist information centre was and the hotel, that's before they got completely destroyed and covered in lava from a recent explosion. And finally we visited a volcanic cave. Like number seven but uh, it's very old, last eruption from here in 1776. The ceiling of the cave was covered by stalactites made from molten lava and it was pretty cool standing inside the chamber and looking up at the craters that lava would have burst out years ago. 
and all the way down on the way back, you could see where the ground had fractured due to earthquakes that happened before the volcano erupts. Well, there you go, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a little bit gutting that I didn't get to go to the summit, but it's definitely something I'll try again next time I'm in Sicily. Um, okay, so it's time to explain my subscriber shit giveaway. Hope you were all counting those little volcanoes. Got them in your head? Now this is all you have to do, okay? Um, all you need to do is write down the number of volcanoes that you saw in this video in the comment box. But don't just put that, don't just be boring and put a number down. Give me a little bit of feedback as well about the channel. What do you like? What don't you like? What would you like to see more of? What crazy shit would you like me to do next in the videos? Just let me know anything, there's no right or wrong answer. And then on Saturday, the next Saturday, which is gonna be October the 17th, I'm gonna put all the names in a hat, I'm gonna pick one out, and they are gonna win this mysterious star prize. Ooh, is it a car? Is it a free holiday? Is it a thousand pounds? No, because I'm skint. It is a shit giveaway, so I'm just gonna find something that I can give away that's a little bit shit. So today, this is what you could win. Do -do. It is a piece of lava from Mount Etna from the recent explosion on April 2020. Yes, you could win a piece of history. Do -do -do. Are you excited? Yes, of course you are. <laughs> but even if you're not, just do it for the bands anyway. Just humour me. Or just write me a little note in the comments. I love having conversations with people and getting to know them. All right, that's all for me for now. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>